Welcome back to learning how to play Crusader Kings 3. We just kind of play, I explain what I do, why I do it, and hopefully you learn something about how to play Crusader Kings 3. We're sitting here in Georgia, the Byzantine Empire doesn't exist, the Abbasid Empire does not exist, everything kind of broke apart, the greatest power in the world is currently the Khazars, and, well, such is the situation. We are trying to get some claims going down here, so we can cut these guys off from the rest of the Muslim world and eventually overtake all this uh, what they have we need to be a little bit careful because we don't extra we don't want extra duchies to be formed during succession unless we only have one heir then it's perfectly fine uh, through downcast lashes our sister-in-law and half brother um, she's looking at us. Uh, I don't know. Our heart remains pure. I'm not. I'm not cheating. Thank you. Thank you for the offer there. I think that that was the wife of our ally or something. I don't know. We're allied with you. No, you are allied with them. Okay. What do we have? Another grandson. Very good. Good Georgian name. A little Joshua. And you will go for stewardship. Why not? Let's see what we can do here. Claim on the kingdom of Georgia. I think we'll take those this lady for our personal heir. She might... Let's see. Where is she? She's way older than our heir, but that doesn't matter. We just want... We just want that claim here. We want that claim. We personally won't be able to press that until she arrives at our court. And this will take a while longer. But yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's check. I wanted to give one of... Uh, these kids here somewhere or something. Okay, we get a claim we can press. Very good. We want that. Uh, which one of you? You. So let's get an alliance going here. Alliance power city. Uh, nothing interesting. Yeah, don't care. Okay, then. So, they're currently not too weak because they have an ally and we are not we are not capable of pulling in one of our allies into this. So again, we go on the murder spree, I say. We check how they are allied. This is internal, that doesn't matter. We need to break this. So the Emir, maybe we can kill him directly. Either one of these is fine. So this is the problem here. Let's see, who can we kill easier? Not him. Not her. Ah. Why are they always so resilient over here? Every time I get into a position where I can start attacking them, they just shore up power out of nowhere. I'm looking if I can do something. But really, it doesn't seem to be that way. We could go find secrets. Over there. Let's send our daughter to go find some secrets. Maybe we can do something with that. I don't know. You increase our piety. That's fine. Not that we really need it. I mean, we outweigh him heavily with our allies, but only with our allies. That's the issue here. We got a new lifestyle point. Household guard. Oh, yes. Extra knights. Knights are incredibly powerful in this. So let's 
click around weirdly wrongly to find our night panel. We don't have enough knights at the moment. Um, and the ones we have aren't really good. So we could go ahead and make a decision to go and find us some knights, which apparently... We don't have the prestige for it. Good stuff. In... Well... Oh. Oh, we have a new... We have a new bishop. Our previous one just died. Um... Okay. Right. In previous iterations, in Crusader Kings 2, we could have been... What was I saying? My lord. Sometimes I lose myself. I'm so sorry. What could we do here? Can't kill either. That's not that's not working. Oh we can we can try. Let's try. No one wants to join us. You could be convinced. How Expensive is your convincing. 75 gold. Are you kidding me? Why is everyone so nice to you over there? Success chance secrecy. Let's stop it. I don't want to give him a reason to go and come after us. Could go on a hunt though and think we're going to do that. Uh, to get us some prestige up to get an ally involved because that might help us All right, what do we get hunty pr nah, I mean plus a half prestige per month. That's pretty powerful Who are you our son and heir doesn't matter. I'm not humble enough to take the turn this down. Sorry, boy. Okay. Could commission an artifact. But we can barely pay for that, so... Alright, we could be calling in allies into this now. And that would be enough. With one ally, we could win this. I think we'll try. Yeah, 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 it's fine. We'll do it. Doesn't matter. Okay, which one? One of these two, this one. And we move our flag over here. Close to where we want to go. Um, okay, she can't find anything, so we call her back home. Alright, and they just immediately jumped and got all the troops right there, which makes me worry. What is his allies bringing to the table then? Okay, this is a balanced battle, which we're probably going to lose. I'm gonna be honest here, that wasn't a good idea. That was not a good idea to engage this battle. But now we have to lie in our bed. We made it. We have to lie in it. If we win this, I'm gonna be surprised. Generally, the balanced ones I lose, I tend to. Or it looking good for us. Oh, we inherited a sword. Oh, 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 oh. An Armenian sword plus three prowess and a brooch plus 10 fertility, 10% fertility, and prestige. Okay. So I'll put all this on then. Who was this? Who died? Oh no. Okay, the enemy has called an holy aura of his into this battle. 
into this war. Which is probably what we're seeing here. And he just made a new alliance, which might join. I swear, fighting Islam is one of the harder things you're ever going to do in life in this. But I think we're going to do okay for the moment right now because we're catching all these armies on their own, sort of. Um, but I'm not banking on this success to continue, really. So we're going to go over them, after them again. Yup. His new ally has joined. We got one of his allies gone. If we fight in our home, that would be good because we get the defensive bonuses here. Our knight was slain. That is not great. Have we taken prisoners yet? No. Usually those come in sieges. At least our ally is arriving now. How strong are you? Oh, oh no. Uh, oh no. We are so dead. Okay, so we're standing against 8,000, basically, once he arrives. Once the big boy arrives. Where are you? Where do you live? Where is your home? Okay, you're down there, so they're gonna come from the south. Oh, we're so dead. So, what I what I want is to get to white peace, so at least we can get out of this again. Honestly, we might follow this army and try crushing them more. Not looking good, though. I don't think we catch them. Or do we? Nope. They just escaped. Okay. We have a chance. If we siege his capital and capture him personally, the leader here, then we win this immediately. Other way, taking the capital is a good idea in terms of what we get out of it in a war. We don't have enough prestige to get more of our allies on our side. We're not going to get more prestige to get allies on our side. So we need to at least win one siege before they can do something to us. Like crush our army with a 7,000 murder mob. Basically. That's that's uh, what we're looking at here. So I'm going to be very nervously looking south. Where the enemy army is going to come from. You get an idea of where the enemy will come from by how they move. So if they suddenly start moving into one direction or straight at us, despite being clearly underwhelmingly uh, stacked in comparison to us, that's generally a sign that the enemy is approaching in large numbers and that they're safe and secure, that they feel safe in what they're doing. So you might rethink what you are doing. Uh, but we might... We'll see how far we get in this war, quite honestly. Uh, I don't... I don't want to make... Okay, see... Now we know that the enemy is coming. Because he's marching straight. Like he's doing a beeline into a weird direction. Which doesn't make sense. Unless there's a big army waiting to join up with him. Um, okay, so let's check. Do we have... Do we have... Do we have... Where's my... Why can't I ever remember this? Okay, we have two prisoners. We got this guy. Who is okay. We'll recruit him as a knight. Um, so we go negotiate, release. Demand conversion and recruit. And here will be a new knight. You are the spouse of someone. We'll keep you for ransom later. But this guy we just recruited. Once he accepts, he'll be somewhere down here. Uh, Rohin. Rohin, Rohin, Rohin. I don't see him. Why do I not see him? Uh, what's going on here? Marriage. Oh, he wants to marry. Uh, okay. Fine. Where are you, my friend? There he is. Come yar. He will be a knight forced into combat, into battle. Straight out of the prison system. <laughs> okay, so... 
They might link up somewhere where we can't see them, but we have a good view around. And if we manage to get this siege down, it might give us enough war score. Oh, I think there he is. Nope, that's another big, ah, not too big army. So if we can get enough war score us capturing uh, this particular one, we might win this still, despite being in a heavy disadvantage. At the moment, we are definitely in a white piece zone though we're losing war score because we are not holding the war target if we, we're okay right now we're okay but it depends if he if he shows up here we can engage battle we can still out of battle go into a white piece it's not ideal trust me um okay there he is there he is he has appeared now on the field of battle but he's still a bit away Depending on where he wants to go. Let's see how this works out for us. If it does. Oh, you you wouldn't believe it. You wouldn't believe it. We made it. Oh, we avoided the death, death blob coming our way. How did you do this? How did you manage to shore up all these alliances? Like, like, absolute last second. Crazy. Okay, we are above our domain limit. That That's not super good. But it's fine insofar our son is the only... Uh, one inheriting anyway, so we can give him whatever we want and we'll just give him accounts um, to rule as he seals, sees fit. Uh, at least I hope that works. So that's fine. He loves us for it. So he's now a ruler in his own right. And we will go ahead and say more and say negotiate alliance. He will absolutely accept that. I don't want any trouble with my own heir in my own home. In my own house. Um, so that's good. Okay, we, we took something. We did something. Uh, despite overwhelming odds. And I hope I described somewhat uh, helpfully. How you can predict enemy movement. How you can get an idea of how many options you currently have. Now this isn't foolproof. Especially if you need to uh, worry about the sea. But... Since the Black Sea, uh, or rather the Caspian Sea, uh, is shut off, this enemy from over here wouldn't come via this way. They might have traveled up the coast here and then walked this way, but that only shortens the, the travel time a little bit. That doesn't matter too much to us. If it had been an ally from over here, they might have come through the sea, like we saw with one of his small allies. That definitely would be an issue. Boy, oh boy. Look at that. He has 8,000 troops just by ally. Let's let's figure out how he's allied to this boy. Let's learn about his secrets here. Okay. Is that that one? Is it this one? No. It's this one. This one is the big one. Okay. Let's see. Oh no, game is kind of throttling around here. Can we kill you? No. Can we kill you? Cannot use murder until the 11th of May. Why not? What did we do? Oh right, they're Muslim. They can have multiple wives. That's what's going on here with all the alliances. That's what's going on. Uh, the venerable scholar who invented the sword said it was produced in, a, in the way I'm saying it. Our friend is having a raging debate which shows no signs of abating. Having passed a nearby gibbet, he's, he had uh, remarked on it. Being fluent in Armenian language as I am, I gently corrected him on his pronunciation. It begins with a hard sound and a soft one, obviously, and he had the temerity to disagree. I can't believe you're still holding this impotent linguistic position, he blurts out. What's this? You gain descriptivist for five years. Diplomacy, learning, stress gain, attraction opinion. Yeah, it is as I say, and that is the end of it. What what do you think, my man? Okay, new mar martial uh, lifestyle. We can only really go this way, so. Romance. Why is romance twice in here? And elope twice? Not, not sure what this is about. Uh, but can we can we finally seduce our wife? Can we manage to romance our own wife after all these years? No. 
Still not an option. I mean, we'll try. Let's try at least. Um, she is content, just and shy. We'll plant a letter in her place. Okay. While I cannot encourage you, my liege, I'm most grateful for your kind words. Okay, cool. So she can't encourage her husband. He is looking a little bit odd, isn't he? So far, we have led wars, but have barely killed anyone. <laughs> Interesting stuff. Uh, something we might want to look... Oh, what do we have here? Cattle lands. Okay. Something we might want to look into is getting control going here, which we just took over. There is a faction created against us, but it's all fine. The factions are right now isn't, isn't all that much of an issue. We could invite some knights, but that weakens us heavily. Always keep 150 prestige in the back of your hand for a war. Uh, for a war. Inviting defensively will not cost you. Uh, but any anytime you want to go on the offense, you're going to be happy for every drop of prestige that you saved. Just my strong suggestion, you do that. Alright, another daughter has grown up, so that's another betrothal. That should... No, he's not old enough yet. How is your education going anyway? I haven't really ha had a pop-up from you yet. Why are there no pop-ups from you, my boy? Pop-up! I'm constantly wondering if, if this lady is pregnant, but I don't think she is. Do we have a potential alliance here now? No. No. Nothing. Have you found a new man? No. Sometimes they just don't remarry. That's a little bit weird for me. Oh no. We're not gonna claim the fart for us and lose a hundred and fifty prestige. Okay, let's let's just put this in relation, right? Paradox thinks that calling an ally to an offensive war ha has the same impact on your general standing as farting in front of your spouse. That is one expensive fart. And perhaps I should stay quiet on the matter. Sometimes I really don't get... It's, it's it's this old um, Arrested Development meme where Lady Bluth just basically goes, It's a banana, Michael. How much could it cost? $10? That, that is what it feels like sometimes, how the prices and, and cost of things is kind of calculated here. It's just... People removed far from reality, coming up with things. Can we upgrade now? Now we don't have the Battlements innovation. I don't think. Let's check our culture real quick. Oh, we could diverge of culture. I don't actually see, Why do I not see what we have in our culture? There, innovations. Uh, the battlements. No, that's, that's coming up next, basically. That's here. There. Okay, let's check how much does it cost us to diverge our culture. Yup, we don't have that. Neo-Georgian, that's the best it can come up with. That's all it can come up with. Those are kind of fun, fun to do. I must say. Yes, we have few knights, that's only because we can have so many. Our item here has low durability, we'll repair it. Um, we can declare wars. Yes, so many wars. Alright, we find a rusty tool and we consider can we turn it into a weapon. 
Um, we search for other ways to hone our martial skills. We're not going to do that. We wonder if we can turn that rusty tool into a martial weapon. This is part of our lifestyle thing. And now we can make a choice on what to do. We fashion a rudimentary dagger, rudimentary halberd, or we just hone the blade. We're going to go for the dagger. It's not going to be a dagger. Like, you're not going to get an item out of it, I don't think. But it will give you a bonus to something. See, now we get a makeshift... Oh, don't... we actually do get an artifact. It's crazy. Um... Wait. Oh, let's see. There's more choices. Interesting. So what does the flavor text tell us? As a lord, I'm not exactly well versed with the process of actually modifying a weapon for, of war. Despite my enthusiasm, it quickly became clear that I'll need some expert guidance. I call the holding somewhat harassed looking blacksmith who muttered something I didn't quite catch about rulers and their pet projects. And after a day or so of filling, uh, filing and honing, my work is complete. The formerly curved blade has been straightened out. It's shortened blade leading to a tapering point with a beveled groove running down the flat of the blade. It is not a pretty weapon, but a weapon it is nonetheless. And I could be like, okay, this is perfect. Or it's even better than my one where he gives me his. We don't actually get the thing. Now, it's perfect. We want the makeshift dagger artifact. Because we are proud of that. Where is it? There it is. No, I didn't want to equip it. I wanted to check. So this gives us plus one prowess. But the Armenian sword is clearly better. Let's repair this. But we could give our makeshift dagger to someone else. Like our son. We'll get it back anyway. Um, as my little firebrand and I walk through the Ganja Gardens, I gesture at the greenery around us. For all the beauty, there isn't a single flower which rivals your own, my lady. There is one, she says with a mischievous smile, a rare orchid from Asturias, which is nearly impossible to cultivate. The monastery ruin in Karnabuj is the only place where it thrives in these regions. Surely we can find this for our wife. Why are we at a success chance of 10%? Is it just for this section? Or does it give us a success chance? Let me go there. Yeah, this would give us success chance of plus 10%. Let's do it. We have the money. We can deal with the stress. Let's increase our success chance in romancing our very own wife. Okay, he is forgiving. Should he keep this? Unlocks the abandoned hook interaction. Opinion of forgiving. Uh, virtues to apostolics. That's not bad. I was watching... Count Hovannes play with the other children when Ma tried to push him over. Hovannes took it all in stride and sat down to talk to Ma instead. We could make him wrathful instead. I want a well-rounded child. He may remain forgiving. Pensive, forgiving. He's very thoughtful, isn't he? Curious little boy. And you pff, virtuous to apostolics. Sure, why not? It's not a bad thing. All right, another marriage. So, strengthening our alliance there. And that means another knight for our court as well. As soon as he arrives, anyway. But we're not going to force this man. We don't want to force this. All righty. And I think we'll leave it there for today. Georgia is growing quite steadily we have a great grandson that's crazy 
a little Abraham he's gonna be and he is gonna be a martial education so we have good knights in our realm I I say all right um last thing I want to check is our men at arms honestly because we're a little bit woefully under prepped here. let's increase the size of our spearmen a little bit so we got three out of three and then I want to increase the size of our bowmen a little bit and not them money wise we're okay right now let's let's just push a little bit more men at arms power so we become more competitive again at the moment it, it feels a little bit lacking how we square up against our enemies in this department Our dear half-brother, he might become an issue upon succession there. I think his wife was trying to seduce us. Not okay. Not okay at all. He's a learned man. He's gonna live a long, long life. He is gonna live a long, long life. The learned ones usually do. I don't think he actually gets the lifestyle traits. Oh, he has the theology focus. Okay, he might not live a long, long way. Uh, if he went for the whole of body, yeah, that'll that'll keep you well and healthy. Every selection brings something to the table. Honestly, you can't go wrong. It's just sometimes fun to just go a different direction. I tend to go for military and diplomacy because I feel the most at home there. And if I'm trying to tell you something about the game, it's probably best. But you can go any and they're generally fine. Oh no. This could be a assassination attempt. Let's see. We arrive back at our castle of a long lonely walk. Another year, another year older. I was born at this day 57 years ago. The older I get, the more I cherish the relationships I've cultivated over the years. So it tells me that I've not heard from my wife, Lustina, or any of my friends today. I trudge along my chambers, loneliness impeding my lazy feet. Then I hear a clang and a hushed whisper from down the hallway. What could this be about? Oh, is this a party? Oh, come on. I've never seen this. What a surprise. All my nearest and dearest friends have come together to wish me well as I begin the next year of life. There is even a tired table laden with pomegranate cakes. My favorite. Here I was thinking that everyone had forgotten about me. I cannot believe that Lustina or Justina went to all the trouble of arranging this in a secret. I had not a clue that such a thoughtful surprise was being planned at all. My friend Parthena approaches me, struggling to carry three beautifully wrapped packages. Ever the trickster, she says, I've... I have these three gifts here for the choosing. One shall be yours, but which shall it be? Take the biggest one. The medium-sized one will be perfect. Or the small package. Well, we're greedy, but also humble. So the medium size will be perfect for us. You've become the owner of the Armenian Art of War. Controlled, okay. Monthly martial lifestyle experience plus 20%. Would you look at that? That is insanity. We need to equip that immediately. Get rid of this thing. And put that book there. 20% martial lifestyle experience for the holder. That is crazy strong. Maybe I'm I'm overhyping this. I, I don't actually know, but let's check in here, right? Um, we get 20% just by choosing this. By getting one of these. By going in here. So double that, basically, now. And that's fantastic. We're a tough soldier plus 20%. The book plus 20%. That's... And we also have the Armenian Art of Strategy, which gives us another 10%. We're really... I think we're a warlike people. I think all our books are about war, so... Yeah, that's crazy. That's a lot. That's really good. All right. And with that, we'll leave it for today with a nice little surprise birthday party. I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. If not, if you have co comments, questions, whatever, leave them down below. And if you like it, up. If you didn't like it, down. See you around next time. Until then, bye-bye. Thanks for watching.